we get in. Hello guys, welcome back to Cassette Confessions. Today, we're looking at Noddy Free, Noddy the Milkman from Last Night Free. This is the second and last Noddy video we're going to cover on the series, even though he'll pop up eventually, at some point, you know, bits and pieces, I think I mentioned this before in a few of the shows, they'll pop up later down the line. So you probably know what, not what, to, know what to expect from there. Uh, so, well, this is the actual last, um, Official second to last video, uh, second and last video to do with Noddy, very much. Um, particularly, it's my, it's my favourite. It's the one I remember fondly, maybe because of the cover itself of Noddy trying to catch, try and catch a bottle of milk. That sort of like stands out very, very reminiscently. That st that sticks out very nicely. It, stick, it sticks out very interestingly. It does, and. It's episode content as well, it's actually a pretty, pretty good one actually, it's very decent stories on this one. But I think it's better than number two, I would say. If you had to compare the two, which one's better, I'd probably say number three is the best one out of the ones I own. Some people will probably consider... Uh, Noddy, maybe the first one, or the fourth, or whatever, or various releases afterwards. But I would say number three, Noddy the Milkman, is actually... Best, the best VHS out of the two I've got out of that pair. So, yes. Um, so, let's go for the episode content. So, we'll go for the four, four episodes, standard thing, really, to be honest, with the Noddy, Noddy VHSs for all the time, really. Um, Noddy the Milkman, love this episode. I do think it's one of my, it's one of my favourites because it it does reappear on a few, or maybe a compilation or two later down the line. Maybe one of them I'll cover actually. Uh, but it's one of my, I like this one. I like the character of Mr. Milko as well. Interesting character. Obviously, you have the issue with Bumpy Dog being a nuisance, of course, and just wrecking havoc, of course. So that's really, really stands. And, it's, and again, it's just Noddy doing doing like a little job just to um, help uh, Mr. Milko, of course. Apparently, and there's a, the interesting reason because he said his brother his brother is ill. So interesting. You know, there's a nice there's a reason. Why, like, there could be a, there's a re, there's a strong reason why he's obviously that sort of way. I mean, he's a very sympathetic character, Mr. Milko, in a way. You should always see him very down, that sort of thing, really. Even though he's, it's like, a, it's like he's depressed throughout. Even though he, he knows he could be suffering from depression. I don't know. I don't want to go too deep in that. Uh, but you never know. You never know with characters like that. Very much. You know, people really need to look into into things too, too much. Depends on the on the how it's animated and how the voice work is and how the dialogue works. He can lead to strange things that can. So yeah, but it's a really good good start. It is, and yeah, I actually do enjoy this one. So it's one of my personal favourites of the series, of the show itself. Uh, next up we just Noddy delivers some parcels. Next up, um, that's a decent one as well. To do with Biggie's his birthday, of course. Um, I think out of the ones in particular, this is the weakest one. After after thinking, you know, it's still, it's still good, still, still good story, but it's the sort of least least the sort of the weakest one out there. If you know what I mean, I won't say it's. Bad or anything, it just feels a bit weak, really. But it's still good, very much, and fair enough, really. Um, next up, we've got is Noddy and the Special Key. This is another one. So this goes in par with um, Not in the Milkman as one of being the best episodes, in my opinion. Um, it's just some interesting and weird stuff going on too. With Clock Mouse, um, do with Clock and Mouse, his key being stolen, and they found this like weird jeweled key or something like that, like a gold key with jewels in, and. Yeah, pretty interesting. You know, and what happens when you test out the key and put it in, in, in Noddy's car? Goes absolutely apeshit. And that was a really good scene that was. It's still a memorable scene out of that episode, really, that story. And that's really good. Really good one, actually. And again, it probably re does reappear eventually on... How many? One, I think, is it? Um... One or two, I think, if, if my memory serves correctly. People don't know what that is. People don't know that some maybe these VHS is later on down the line. You think you're you're promising this. You're promising you're for you're prophesizing the future of the series so far. Just like okay. That's a that's a good one that is. That's one of my personal favourites because I think I say it more often really. Same with Not in Milkman as well. 
And then finally we have got... Nonny gets a new job. I forgot what it's called. Nonny gets a new job. Another good one, actually. Basically, Mr. Plod has been taking, having an accident, of course. He's ta so he's basically been brushed aside, of course, during an, an accident, really, to be honest. And Noddy and Big Ears step in to become the Toy Towns Police, just to be a substitute for his for his rank and his job. So it's pretty pretty interesting dynamic, very much, you know, like, you know, just doing, you know, again, to withheld, stop the goblins, of course, that sort of thing, really. Uh, there are some good stories involving the goblins, you know, with, again, with plot, and the stuff included with Mr. Paul as well. Interesting, interesting stuff. But I think this one's actually, you know, Another good one, of course, because you see, you know, one of the main characters, which is actually one of my favourite characters, Mr. Plod. I always like Jimmy Hippett's um, dialogue, of course, and like, like his voice work and everything else. Just very strong, authoritative, bumbling, but still very strict and very the, the book, really, with him. Great character, I would say. Um, so, yeah. It's a good VHS, this is. It's one of my favourites. I would say it's better than two, but two, you know, two has some good stories as well, but three, this one stands up more, mainly because it's, it's cover, it's cover art, and it's episode content. I think that and two episodes would tend to reappear, tend to appear on a few other VHSs. So, that's my, that's my main reason why I like it so much, this one. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have to say, really. <laughs> It's been like uh, with the Pingu v VHSs as well, you know, you know, even though that they're two are so sort of bit sizey really because they've both got two good episodes in. Even though I'll probably say free hide and seek is better because it's more memorable stuff. Well, they've both got memorable stuff, but I think maybe the freeze are probably better, the volume freeze, I don't know, maybe. That seems to be a thing really. That seems to be a, that seems to be a thing going about with the freeze, of course. You know, the third VHSs are standout and definitive, in my opinion. So, who knows really with that one. Crisis on here. Alright, I'll wrap this up now. So, Naughty Free, Naughty the Milkman, great VHS. Lovely to bits when I was a child. I still, well, look back at it now, it's still a great VHS. Really, out of the two, this is the bare one. People disagree, people think, you know, the first one or the second one or the fourth one, all those random, all those other compilations or something, are oh, that considered their best. I say this one, this one, the best. And that's it, really. Thank you guys for watching. As always, see you for the next video, and goodbye, and stay safe as well. Thank you. Bye.